In a shocking decision, the Department of Justice will drop all of its nursing home investigations, including into New York State. Our own Janice Dean has been an outspoken critic on this issue after losing her in-laws to COVID-19 following Governor Cuomo's controversial nursing home orders. And she joins us now to react. Good morning, Janice. Glad to have you with hey, us. So we were talking about this a little bit earlier, Janice. The states can maintain their, their individual investigations, and New York State may just do that into Governor Cuomo. What does it mean to you? How do you feel? How does your family feel to hear the Department of Justice is dropping these investigations? It was soul crushing yesterday. And not only for you know, the residents of New York State, but those other states as well. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Michigan. Why did they have that controversial order in the first place? To put COVID positive patients into nursing homes, our most vulnerable population. They'll never know the answers to that. I feel like we lost them all over again yesterday. Yeah, you're so right. That's what we need to get to the bottom of. Why did that happen? When we understand why that happened, it might help it to not happen again in the future. You speak to so many of the victims, um, so many of them see you as their voice. Um, what are they telling you? Do they feel like this is a political cover up? Well, listen, I, I think that if these were governors that had a Republican name next to them, uh, I think there would probably be more justice, unfortunately. Yeah. Listen, I'm not a political person, but I'm not a dummy either. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? I mean, this, this investigation was put into effect by President Trump. And I was very grateful at the time to William Barr because that investigation, the DOJ investigation, is what prompted the investigations here in New York into our corrupt governor. There are several of them. So if it wasn't for the DOJ investigation into the nursing homes, we wouldn't have the governor on the hot seat and in big trouble. So Janice, where do you go next for that justice or for a full investigation? Do you have hope? I mean, it feels like we're always saying on the show, okay, maybe the next investigation, but do, do you feel like what's happening in this state and in others could actually bear fruit as far as getting to the bottom of it? From what I hear, the attorney general's report in New York City is going to be released in the next few weeks, and there are going to be several things in there uh, that are impeachable offenses, but I don't have a lot of faith in our own lawmakers here in New York State. They are covering for him. And the media continues to cover up uh, for Governor Cuomo. But I have to believe we're on the side of the angels here in New York. There are a lot of things against this governor, and he's made a lot of enemies uh, over the last, you know, three terms. But, you know, I guess if we, he continues and he tries to prevail, we can vote him out next year in November. That's true. The voters can have or enforce ultimate accountability. By the way, Rachel brought up the policy. You did as well, Janice. There's also the cover-up after the policy yeah. where we can show this to viewers on our screen. The actual deaths were 12,743. Cuomo reported 8,500. So, you, you know, Janice, and I don't want to ask the same question Pete asked, but that is what, that's what's fascinating now. Will the states pick up where the DOJ has now dropped the ball? If that's the case, can you trust these states, and as you point out, not just New York, to be the enforcers of justice? And I, I don't know. We did see bipartisan um, support. Y you saw that. Uh, Ron Kim, a Democrat here in New York, a lot of people on the, of them. the left pushing. Yep. But Ron Kim also came out and sort of, you know, justified this decision by the DOJ. So he said, well, I don't blame the Biden administration, and he wants to focus on right. Cuomo. I think, Janice, what do you think about that? Well, I understand Ron Kim is, you know, he is uh, an assemblyman in New York State, but what about all those other states? Michigan, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. So lawmakers have to step up here. They have an opportunity to raise their voices and say, you know what, we're going to conduct our own investigations because it's important. Because what if this was 15,000 children? Would we care then? Yeah. yeah. Such a great point. It, but. I mean, I know every day you and your, your husband think of Mickey and Dee, and it's personal, and it should be personal for everybody. And, it should be. And, and, it, and it's not, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, but Janice, we, we talked about that. Thank you so that. much. Thank you, Janice. We talked about that earlier. How we treat our elderly says a lot about who we are as Americans. Um, so thank you so much. You've been such a hero. Thank you, Janice.